Um, hi everyone, this is just a brief overview of how I created this little character's cape using Encloth. Um, so basically, um, to get this working, I just created a very simple plane. Um, up here I just went plane, and of course I just scaled it up to the size that I wanted. And with any Encloth garment, just make sure you have a, a rather dense mesh. See how this is like about 50, 100 plus. Um, polygons so to create that I just simply went in here and grabbed the, uh, the plane into the inputs and I increased the subdivisions so I just increased that okay and then um, I changed of course into effects and I went um, end cloth create end cloth all right and then after that um, I selected my character's mesh and I went end cloth again create passive collider. Now to actually attach the cloth so as it sticks to your character you need to use a um, end constraint and the one that you'll use is called a point to surface. So how does that work? You need to select a group of vertices for example I selected a bunch on the front here um, I find it easier to go into edge mode and select the area that you wish for example along here and then control F9 converts your selection to vertices so you need to have the vertices selected and then you will shift select your mesh and you'll go uh, end constraint point to surface and that will actually generate the um, the connection all right, um, and then after that, basically um, test it. Make sure that you're, when you're running this, your playback speed is play every frame, not 24 FPS. Um, okay, and then um, test it. See how you go. Um, <clears throat> one more thing that I did do once I had it placed and I was fairly happy with it. Um, I'll delete this one now. So I'll just select this mesh. <coughs> And if I come to my actual end cloth, uh, the nucleus, nucleus here, once you create a cloth, and the wind speed over here, what I actually did is I created a quick expression so as I could get that flapping um, random motion. So I right click on the wind speed and go edit expression. And then in here, I simply copied this pasted it here and typed equals rand for random and then zero two 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 like that okay that's x y and z values okay so hope that helps nice one thanks for watching